Good morning, everybody. And uh, with the public holidays yesterday in the US and the UK, nothing much went on, although the DAX did rally a bit. Uh, for me at the moment, still need to see a pullback, and there's no pullback. So we have uh, kind of closed above a fairly significant level, being 18.775. Oscillator's pointing straight up, but I think for me, big thing here is... There is a flag here, and we've broken that flag. So I'm looking for a retest of that flag. And uh, we need to find that. It's not really too particular on which level it is, but I definitely would like to see a retest of that environment. So lots of pin bars that were formed yesterday and on, uh, sorry, sort of last week. Lots of pin bars formed last week. You can see all the way down as the buyers were scaling in. So um, this multiple zones but uh, 18650 was where the buyers were scaling in oscillators are grouping to the upside so we are kind of overbought at the moment we do have a crossover of the oscillators right now but we're maintaining our position above the 150 ema so trend is still very much to the upside so we are looking for opportunities to buy there's no other way about it so yesterday pretty much all over the place um, sideways up until later in the session before we started rallying and uh, I see the the euros on a, a tear at the moment so probably a big part of what this move is all about um, so I am definitely looking for opportunities here to buy and this 18775 is my first choice I can see from the 15 minutes uh, kind of volatile although we were tracking moving averages higher and uh, we did come back to test some structure here as you can see there's a break and quite a a stressful retest of structure before get it, getting going but anyway uh, I would argue that I would like to see us revisit 18.775 or 18.746 before looking for an opportunity to the upside. And uh, just bear in mind that the cash market would have closed in the zone, so that just makes the most sense. Um, if we do get moving from this area where we are now, bear in mind, definitely not looking to do this now. I uh, would wait for the market to actually open um, so that's at nine o'clock German time so um, and eight o'clock is uh, the pre-market open but nine o'clock is when the market actually opens so that's kind of when I would look at this because you'd want to see a break and retest of 18.809 before taking the trade but uh, that's going to leave a gap and there is solid structure to the downside here which I'd want so we're looking for a retest of 18775 um, or 18746 or somewhere in between. So you'll see there is a level there at 18764. But if you go down through the time frames, you're going to see a lot more. You're going to see there's gaps. There's another gap. So there's another gap. So and there's pin bars there. So you could basically drop. I just do this. You could drop to the middle of this uh, consolidation phase um, or even punch through it. And you can see there's a lot of structure just a little bit lower. So I'm not going to draw all of them in. Um, you can see those tails all represent a fractional on a lower time frame pretty much. So that's kind of my view at the moment. So I would wait for this. It's definitely not going to jump in where it is now. Wait for the pullback. This makes the most sense, 18775, 18763, 18760, 18750, 18746. So this zone is a fairly strong zone of support. That's what I would wait for. And then you're looking for pin bars, engulfing bars, or inside bars inside this level or on one of these levels before taking the trade to the upside. And uh, a break of 18809 is basically you can see there's quite a bit of should i rather say 
18800. So eight, a break of 18800 would then start putting some higher targets to you, to the upside. There's a bit of a pin bar here as well, which is very close. That's 18.827. So you'd need to break through that as well before really getting to 18.860. Uh, get through that, then you'd be looking at 18.900. So that would be my trade today. And if you just look at that on the 8th hour, you can see... Um, it is a range for all intents purposes. It is a range and the top of the range, and we've got some major support that we're testing at the moment, but the top of the range is going to be the previous high at 18.941. So that would be the one that you want to break. Once you're through that, then I'd actually just hold on to the trade for a bit because it is going to get um, fairly interesting because you should get a measured move of about 900 points, 970 odd points to the upside. Uh, from roughly where we are at the moment. Okay, so that's kind of my view. You're looking for a move to the upside, but you don't want to just jump in. You're looking for a pullback onto structure, and then from the structure, you're looking to trade with a really tight stop loss. Uh, risk as little as possible, because um, it could be a bit volatile, but then it could also rally quite hard as well, which will allow you to get in on the move on the higher up. So as it breaks, your structure pulls back, stop to entry and then you just keep adding small positions to that anyway hope that helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning cheers for now